Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it is almost seven o'clock Thursday night. It has been, I'm gonna say a shit month for me, um, just because of everything that has, has piled on to me. Surgery, falling down the stairs, my back going out, having to uh, deal with my father's cancer, work, uh, you name it. Everything, everything just sort of piled on on an ongoing basis until I was ready to crack. And you saw it maybe in my last video or two, and those of you that have, have chatted, spoken to me on a regular basis over the past, especially past two weeks, you know that I was like at wit's end. I, I was stressed to the point of nausea and, and like it wasn't a good place to be. Very bad headspace. Okay, that's all done. I'm, I'm like much better now. And I'm gonna tell you why. There's a few reasons why. The most important is that I have a fantastic support system. So my wife, my queen, is a rock star. And she has put up with my bullshit for the entirety of our relationship and all the crap that I that I do and I go through and self-cause and all that shit. And she's a trooper and she deserves the best of everything. And uh, yes, so thank you to my to my queen. My mother-in-law, Nancy, thank you very much. You're like you said, mama's got your back. You definitely do, and you have gone above and beyond for me, and I appreciate it. Really helps out. And my friends, um, who are more or less virtual friends, because I don't have any like in real life friends here. I have a lot of people that, that know me and stuff like that, but I don't have anybody that, that I hang out with since I moved to Virginia Beach. And everybody that I talk to or, or interact with, it's, it's either on the phone or through the computer or whatever. And I'm gonna call a couple of you out. And, and in no particular order, Yankee Cowboy, dude, you'll never know how much you've helped me, you know, in my melon. You've been a great friend. I'm, I'm thrilled you reached out to me after seeing one of my shitty videos and, and, and that we've developed this friendship. Dude, I'm there for you if you ever need me because you've been there for me and I appreciate it. You were a great sounding board for me the other day when I was flipping my shit and I was getting ready to sell everything that wasn't like attached to anything. And probably even then, I have since loosened the sphincter and calmed down. My buddy JT, who's my work friend, uh, for the past few years, we've spoken, I'm not gonna say every day, but almost every day we talk and, and we are stress relief soundboards for each other because we both basically have the same job. And, and he had some of my, my dealers at one point and I had some of his and then we swapped and this, that, and the other thing. But, uh, like being able to talk to somebody that truly understands the bullshit that we go through for our day job uh, has, has been immensely helpful to me. And uh, although he never watches my stuff and doesn't even know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna put it out in the ether anyways. Thanks, JT. You're a rock star in my world as well. Adam, thanks, dude. I appreciate you watching the videos and, and, and throwing your comments in and all that kind of stuff. And, and other people that watch my stuff and reach out to me with, with questions or, or thanks that I've helped them. Um, and even some of the people that are, that are not too nice to me in, in the comments. Um, interaction is interaction. Oh, I guess I should also call out my boss. My boss is a freaking a godsend to me in my world. He is amazing and I legitimately consider him my friend and, and he's gone way out of his way to help me be successful in this job and on a personal level to, to try to help alleviate my stress. So here's what's going on now. With my surgery, my stitches are out. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I guess, 100% healed, but I, like I, you wouldn't know that, it, that I had anything done. So yay, two my toe, like I said, unless I physically force it and bend it, which in any of my toes will hurt if I do that, it, it's probably at about 95% now. Yes, it's a little bit bigger. Clearly I snapped something, but whatever. My toe is pretty much all better now. My back, my back is my back. I've been dealing with this for a quarter of a century. So sometimes it sucks. Most of the times it doesn't suck as much. So I'm good to go. 
my chiropractor finally got my neck to, to release, which thanks Zeus, because I got rid of the hatchet feel there. And I'm good to go there for the time being. I'll definitely have to go as soon as I come back from my dad's. So all that is, is, is peachy. I'm still freaking out about shit because I mean, I didn't make any of that go away. Uh, but it's now reasonable enough that I, I shouldn't be nauseous or, or, or sick to my stomach anyways, thinking about all the shit that I have to think about, which then leads me to the last and biggest stressor that I've been bitching about for months now. That freaking Amex card that, that some douchebags got a hold of the number, don't know how, still don't know how, and they were doing all those fraudulent charges. I mean, they charged like over 3,000 bucks in hotels on my card. So I had canceled it way back when I found out about it and went through and started finding charges. And even after I turned those charges in and, and Amex took them off, there were still more charges happening. So you know, even though I had the card canceled immediately and they sent me a new card, it was still being used somehow. So I had to go through, find out where it was, try to get rid of it, like I had it maybe on file or something like that, whatever, don't know, doesn't matter. I called the hotel chain or whatever, and they said they were gonna do an investigation. No one got back to me, and eventually Amex didn't get back to me other than rebilling me for the charges. So I currently owe over $2,000 and I'm past due. And that was freaking me out because I'm like, now they're fucking with my credit. My boss assured me that that wasn't the case and that this could be remedied very easily. There's something just not right. Well, the monkey, even though I've been in a bad headspace now that I'm a little bit back to my, my normal frantic self, I wasn't gonna sit here and just let shit happen. So I just got off the phone with them. I've been on the phone with them for like an hour. And guess what? Turns out that for some unknown reason, even though I called to dispute these charges and say that there was fraud, somehow, it, and he doesn't know how to explain it, but at least he found out, it got switched from a fraud case to a billing dispute case. And they felt that their charges were legitimately billed so they put him back on my account. So he says, now that I found the problem and I know what's going on and I put it back to the fraud department, those charges should go away, give us time, we'll fix it out, and all that should be taken care of. So they basically owe me over $2,000, like $2,300, $2,400. And, um, and I have been paying all along up until I realized some of those bigger charges which I stopped paying, but there's past due charges, interest and all that shit. He says, we will take care of all of that. I can still use my current card. Things are golden there, so there's no problem. So hopefully the freaking Amex situation should be taken care of. Remember what I told you? All right, I've, I've filmed videos multiple times a day for the past week or two weeks, and they've all bent me just slowly and sometimes quickly going further and further to a breaking point, and they were really out of control. So I didn't post any of them, which is why I'm doing this one. But I have been saying all along that I need to deal with this stress and this negative because I can't take that to my dad's. So when I get there, I'm gonna concentrate on him and being a positive thing for him. So that means I can't have all this negative bullshit and all this crap that I've been dealing with and I'm freaking out about. So again, my support group has stepped up to the plate and really got me back to a positive headspace. And the last straw on the monkey's back was that freaking Amex bullshit. And now, I can rest assured that that is now going back through the proper channel and everything should be taken care of. So now when I go on Saturday, I'm gonna be happy as a pig in shit when I go and, and hang out with my dad for two weeks and help him out. I have sold a bunch of my gear. I'm continuing to sell a bunch of my gear. I didn't sell it all though, because the other day I was so freaking out of my mind that I was like, that's it, I'm selling everything. I'm selling all the cameras, I'm selling all the lenses, I'm selling anything that I've got, I'm selling all my guns, I'm, I'm gonna just not do anything anymore. I don't wanna deal with any of it. Thank you support group for talking me out of that because that was a rash, dumb thing for me to have done. And I'm glad that I didn't do it. So I'm a little bit more level-headed now. I love this FX30 and it is perfect for me to do all this shit with. Uh, I'm, I'm hanging onto my a7 IV and, and a, a couple, a few of my lenses, but I still have some more to sell. So if you want an 85 millimeter G Master and possibly the 70 to 200 G Master version too, I might be selling that as well. 
Um, I'm also not selling all of my guns because that would have been stupid as well. Plus I wouldn't have gotten enough for them to make it worthwhile. So I got what I'm selling all taken care of. I'm gonna do, deal with that tomorrow. I also got paid and, and got, have money in my account now, uh, you know, that, that wasn't there. And I also sold a 14 millimeter G Master lens and, and I already got paid for that. Um, so all is well. Oh, and MPB finally paid me today. And I'm still waiting on KEH to pay me because they owe me a bunch too. So things are finally turning around to the more positive direction here. And I couldn't be happier about that. Well, I could be. I, if I, you know, won a couple million bucks, that wouldn't be bad. But the bottom line is, is that the monkey sphincter is much looser now, and I'm in a much better headspace, which is where I needed to be before I went to my dad's. So I just wanted to give you this data dump. I also unfollowed a shit ton of creators because I was in a, such a bad mood, and I've been going back and adding them back in. A lot of you that watch this stuff, you, you made the cut. I didn't get rid of you anyways, but. I did get rid of a lot of people uh, because of my mindset and I went back and I've been adding them back in. Okay, so that's all I wanted to go through. That's all, right? <laughs> Hope you guys have a positive support group that's as spectacular as mine. If not, reach out to me. I'll, I'll try to do something for you. If anything else, just listen to your rant like you're listening to me. So that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to do. I'm probably not going to post for the two weeks that I'm at my dad's because I'm gonna have a lot of other shit to deal with. Uh, I also said that I'm not gonna be filming him. Like I'm not gonna be sitting there filming him getting his radiation and all that kind of crap. That's just as bad as me going into a restaurant and filming people eating. I don't do that shit. But if I do have time, I will be filming. Well, I'm gonna be filming my trip there. I'm gonna try to film some of my hometown so you can see where I came from, whatever. Uh, I don't know what the weather's gonna be like to, to, to cross that bridge when I get to it. So. Uh, probably not going to see anything from me for a while unless I have an unusual amount of time. So we'll see what happens. But I'm still here. I'm, I'm just going to be busy for a while. So that's it. That's all you get for today. <sighs> if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.